Now, I certainly know this from experience, but having a baby takes its toll on your body, and mums are eager to get back to their old selves as quickly as possible. But what exercise can you do, and how soon? We're getting advice today from pre- and postnatal fitness and wellness consultant Lorraine Scapins. Welcome back, Lorraine. Hi, Mel. When can a new mum get back to exercising? Yep. Well, a new mum can actually get back into exercising quite soon after having baby, as long as it's the right type of exercise. You know, mums can start our online programs, as I was mentioning, quite soon after having baby because the program focuses on optimal recovery and improving functional strength. So as long as it's not going rushing back into that pre-pregnancy type of exercise straight back to the gym, we certainly want to avoid that because our bodies definitely haven't recovered enough, but we can start exercising quite soon after we've had baby if we know what we're doing. Yeah well I certainly did not know what I was doing pushing a pram around after having a cesarean about a couple of weeks after so what kind of exercises I guess you've got Michelle here yep. to help show Michelle's us. Michelle's here she's yep. mum of two let's have a look let's get down. So what mums can do is as soon as after they've had baby what I recommend is and what's recommended is we start to contract with the two main core muscles first and we need to learn to do those in isolation before we put them together. Once we can contract the pelvic floor and the transverse abdominals which make up those two muscles of the core, we've got the diaphragm as well, then we can start to put them through exercises which is what mums can do after they've had baby. So Michelle's just going to slide her legs down slowly so we do these exercises is nice and slow and what we're doing is once we're exhaling we're thinking about contracting the pelvic floor and the transverse abdominal muscles only and then we relax them as we breathe in so Michelle makes sure she's keeping her shoulders nice and relaxed and just the core muscles are activating so Michelle's just going to keep doing those so these are our basic leg slides yeah well like I've seen athletes do recovery um, yep. exercises like this too now we love being mummies yep but we hate our dreaded mummy tummy um, so what other core exercises can we do to help that yeah well that dreaded mummy tummy is something what is often referred to as is known as diastasis recti which is abdominal muscle separation and that occurs naturally during pregnancy but we do need to heal it post and these exercises are going to help with that it's really important for mums because if they get back into the wrong type of exercise such as crunches it could actually increase that separation so mums are so frustrated because they're never going to get rid of that tummy so if we go up into some hip bridges so lifting up so with this exercise again it's still focusing on the core muscle strength dropping down but we're also bringing the glutes into it as well now so again like i said mums are quite frustrated because the lack of information the right information of how to get rid of this mummy tummy is quite frustrating for them i'm just looking at michelle she's got like no stomach <laughs> she's, she's doing got, great <laughs> isn't she? um now lower back pain it's a yep. bit of a problem what is it caused by how do we alleviate that? yeah again definitely improving core strength and posture mm. you know we have to think about how we're sitting how we're standing these exercises again will help improve posture and core strength but as mums we have to think you know it's so hard being a mum and we have to be functionally strong you know we're lifting washing baskets <laughs> babies gosh they're so we're heavy tough men. Oh, you mean yeah. how heavy is it to get things into car seats <laughs> so we have to look at how we're actually lifting because we're doing that a lot of time because that can put a lot of stress on the lower back muscles and if we're not strong enough through the core we'll go over and do some side planks now then that is going to start to take a lot of pressure and mums and the thing is we don't want to be we tend to not put ourselves first mm. you know babies always first but by doing 10 minutes of exercise a day that gives you two benefits both movement and lift up into the side plank so Michelle's going to lift up into side planks now these exercises I wouldn't generally put in too soon after baby but I tend to put in at around about the seventh or eighth week mark well, that's how you fit it in, 10 minutes a day. Yep. Thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate that advice. You have certainly inspired me today. And if you want some more information, go to the website pregnancyexercise.co.nz.